uh, I have some data from the Democracy Fund. It's called Nationscape. It's over 300,000 respondents that were collected between July of 2019 and June of 2020. And they asked this really interesting battery of questions about how important are each of these to your identity? And they listed things like party ID, your race, your religion, your being an American, your close family members, and your local community. And what I found is there's some fascinating breakdowns between how Democrats and Republicans kind of construct their identity. For instance, 80% of Republicans say being an American is very important. It's only 56% of Democrats. But when it comes to religion, 55.6% of Republicans say religion is very important, but it's only 40% of Democrats. So it's clear that the American identity and the religious identity is much more important for Republicans than it is for Democrats. At the same time, Democrats are motivated by, in some ways, by the same concerns that Republicans are, like race and ethnicity, party identification, their close family. But when you rank order them, what you see is there's this really interesting thing that happens with religion. For strong Democrats, religion ranks the sixth out of six identities, so it's the least important. But then if you move from the left side of the political spectrum to the right side, it goes from being the sixth most important to the fifth most important to the fourth most important. And then for strong Republicans, it's the third most important. So it goes from being the least to the third most important. So for a strong Democrat, it's close family being an American local community. For a Republican, it's being an American close family and religion is the third most important thing. Now, what's even more interesting to me is if you put all that stuff into a, a regression model, you find that people who say that religion is very important are more likely to have strong approval of Donald Trump. And that, that's irregardless of their race or their partisanship. So even, for instance, a white Democrat who thinks religion is very important puts Donald Trump's approval rating around 25%. That same person who says religion is not at all important puts his approval rating around 5%. And that appears for Hispanics, that appears for African Americans, that appears for Asians. And that doesn't matter if you're a Republican or a Democrat. So if you think religion is important, you're more likely to like Donald Trump. And that is even if your party does not line up with Donald Trump, which I think says something profound about American religion, which is that American religion is very much tied up with Republican politics in America and a Republican affiliation. So to be religious in America is to be more Republican, even if you're a Democrat or even if you're non-white, things that we typically would think would push someone towards the Democratic side. People who are more religious in America, like Donald Trump, even if they're Democrats, even if they're independents, even if they're non-white. So religion and Trump are positively correlated across all kinds of measures. And religion in America is seen as a conservative political idea and not a liberal political idea.